Hi, I'm David. I'm Jenny. Um, take two. Mego presents the Star Trek action figures featuring the crew of the Enterprise, Captain James T. Kirk, their fearless leader, Dr. Bones McCoy, caring for the health of the Enterprise crew, Scotty, the chief engineer, in charge of the transporter room, Mr. Spock, the Vulcan, second in command, and the Klingon, enemy of the Star Trek crew. Star Trek action figures, complete with accessories shown, each sold separately. From Migo. Hello, everybody. Hello. We're gonna look at Star Trek figure dolls. Yes, these are the loose Migo Star Trek figures. What year are these? These are 1974 ish. So clean. Yes, so these are ones that I harvested from cards. Spock. So, Spock. Yes. Harvested from what? So I open the packages. <gasps> so hey, is this a doctor? Yes, that's McCoy. It looks funny. So these were never played with. And they had to stitch that little gold on the cuffs. They did, yes. They did nice fingers. Yes. Mm. And they all the have their here. silver endings intact. Mmm, getting wrecked by the bag. They're going under the bag. Oops. Okay. Then we have, I don't know him. Scotty. Really? Yeah, that's Scotty. Mm. That's funny. I don't know if that really looks like Scotty. The face is a little bit off. They have their little, what do they call those things? The guns. Phasers. Phasers. Mm. <gasps> she looks pretty good. Yeah. They always made her wear like really skimpy clothes. Really on This is the first Star Trek? Yes. Oh, well, that one. now with a caveat that the original set of five had different joints in the wrist. So these are type two that have the second type of joints in the wrist. Oh. I see. But you had some growing up? Yes. I thought your case had some other kind of figures that were smaller. Oh, they were like hard. Star Wars. These are the clothing. Yes. Who's this? That's the Sharon. The what? The Sharon. That sounds familiar. Yes, he's half black and half white. And on his world, those who are black on one side hate those who are black on the other side. You mean like they're all half and half, but they don't like each other? If they're... Right. This looks really similar to the person on the toy I grew up with. Yeah. What is this? That is the Keeper, which is a semi-imaginary Well, character. there's a toy called Moondreamers, and the witchy lady looks like that. Yeah. Wait, that's a villain, then? It's called the Keeper. And this is a truly imaginary character called the Neptunian. I know, I like that one. Yes. It's pretty attractive. Yep. It's... I would definitely consider marriage. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Wait, we're not done. The Gorn. Hmm. The Gorn? Doesn't quite look like. They dance. Yeah. So in the episode, the Gorn actually had a green head. They're so flexible and their little boots are made to bend and Yeah. They're all like brand new. Beautiful. Alright. And here are the original six figures in the package. With some duplicates.
And this is the first set of four aliens in the package. This one actually has a sticker from Kitty World, which is was a store in San Jose on Stevens Creek Boulevard, where I actually used to go as a kid. I do not have the next series of aliens, the more difficult to find one. Yes. I'm excited because I was told there's going to be a Kirk in this box. I was also told this is from 1974 and it's a spin action transporter. And I'm wondering if it's the transporter. It includes the transporter. This is the Enterprise playset, which loosely resembles the bridge of the Enterprise. Oh, well, did you have this as a child? I did. Was it this one? No. Oh. Well, you just had all the toys, didn't you? Apparently. You were the envy of the neighborhood. He's shaking his head, but we know otherwise. Yeah. His hippie parents, for some reason, bought him every toy there was while they were partying. So, yeah, so in the bottom of this box, we have some of the, we have the stickers. instructions and leftover sticker sheets. So let's see what we got here. Hopefully the kid put the stickers on straight, huh? Yes, I believe <gasps> they did. Oh my gosh. That is a transporter. I need a real one. Where's so, Kirk? <gasps> Kirk? He's in there. That's Kirk? That's... That is. Yeah, he's a, that one's a little beat up. Maybe you had a Kirk in the other box. Did you? Why did we close this? He was about to go in. Okay. Wait. His arm's stuck. Oh, you lost an arm. Uh-oh, you fell at the back. Did you lose anything or no? Okay. Transporters are dangerous. Here's your little throne. You know, if you ride a freight train, you should never sit in the conductor's seat. Because one time I did, and you can get in big trouble if they catch you, but I bumped, I swirled in the chair, and I bumped the lever, and the train started making weird noises and groaned and came to a stop and then they were coming back there to find me so i pushed the lever where i thought it was supposed to go and the noise stopped and we kept going this is a lesson we can all learn from yeah it was very exciting <clears throat> and these are the view screen Ooh. cards this is so cool it's very 70s and this is more like the style of the wow. animated series spock is looking really good right there yeah. Where is he when you need him? Alright, so what that... Is all this beautiful coloring. It is. And this is set these number seats? one. Where do these go? Just right there. Right where? Up there? Oh, I see. Yep. Yeah. They go up there. You have to know where you're going, don't you? You do. Yeah. It's fuzzy screen until yeah. you put it up. But it has no pokey bit. So it does have to give it. Yeah. Okay. Alright. There you go, set number one. Alright, so we just took a look at this Star Trek set, and then we're going to take a look at set number two. I'm told that you toy nerds really care about condition, and I was told that this one's in better shape, <laughs> so we're going to show you the one that's more perfect. Okay. And by the way, that last Kirk was not perfect enough to earn being in the special box. Agreed. He has to be by himself in the transporter forever. But he's hanging in there because I heard that there were episodes where he had to be all alone on the ship. That's true. So here's the more perfect transporter enterprise. Yes. And we will open it up and try not to damage it because it's special. And um, whoa. It's bundled all nice. And the transporter, I learned how it really works is you put it in the green side and then you push the big green button and spin and then they fall at the back and then you stop on the red and then you pretend like they vanished. You got it. And then this is some kind of papers. 
So, With Batman. So what we're seeing Mego here, figures. if you notice, there are no decals applied uh -oh. in this set. And that means... Special, special. They're all here. They're not even applied crookedly, and they've dried up, so they'll never be applied at all. They might be. Right, we can help. But here they are. So there's a tricky thing. Yep. And here's a little... Amigo. Planet of the Apes. Advertisement for other figures. Do you have any of those? I have Batman, Superman, Robin. Planet of the Apes? I used to have Planet of the Apes. So here are the instructions. I heard someone saw Robin at one of the new ramen places. Nice. The USS Enterprise instruction sheet. New York City. Amigo. I always thought it was Mego or something. Be. Make sure arms and legs are spread apart inside transporter compartment. Otherwise they'll fall out. Oh, that's important. Yeah. We wouldn't want that. No. What have you fell out of the transporter? What's in here? All the parts? Yep, let's open that up. Really? Yep. Where did you get this one? So, I got this Ooh. one on eBay back in the early days of eBay. Ooh. Why didn't someone play with it? Grandma put it in the closet and the kids never came over. Well, I think this is store stock that never got sold. Yeah. Well, Grandma does that too. Yes. I knew those grandmas. Yes. Go visit your grandma. They live alone. They look at photos of you guys. They say, this is my grandchild. I have 16 grandchildren and none of them visit me. I will die alone with my Star Trek toys in the closet. So you better go over there, huh? Go see Grandma. Look in her closet. Why are there only two? Oh, look, I'm an expert. Three. There you go. They're really perfect. Really perfect. We have fetuses and trees. Oh my gosh. Are these from real episodes? No, these are artistically based on the animated series. But there's hands in the space yes. holding them, and that's just like real life. And then Bubble City Alien and Extra Bubble, and then I love that one. It's like Splat, you know, who knows where you're going, and then another Splat. And why are you looking at other ships if you're in the ship? What do you think? It's a little crazy. Is that the Enterprise? Looks like it's supposed to be, yeah. Hmm, but it's not round. Yeah, it's, it's a little sketchy. <laughs> All right, thanks for showing us. Bye, everybody. Here's a mid 60s tracer gun which shot these plastic discs. Very popular toy even through the 70s. Here is the rifle version of the tracer gun, which shoots the same discs. And here's kind of the history of this. So this is a mid 60s toy and it was just called tracer gun. This is a package of extra discs. And then suddenly almost the same package was labeled Star Trek tracer gun. So, based on Star Trek's popularity, they renamed these in honor of Star Trek, and then the gun itself also reflected that, and that included Kirk and Spock right on the package for the gun, which I guess they hoped would increase its popularity. Here are the Star Trek communicators. It's the world's greatest superhero collection featuring Batman and the other half of the dynamic duo, Robin. The Hulk, that green superhero, is fully posable. Falcon, the winged black superhero. Shazam and Iron Man. The world's greatest superheroes collection. Each superhero action figure sold separately from Mego. Some rough condition superhero figures. 
and these are a nicer condition Batman and Robin I have the box for Robin This is the Batmobile. And the Batcave set. This is the world of the Micronauts. A Croyer, the enemy. And the Micronaut Space Warriors. All sold separately. Space Glider. Galactic Warrior. Time Traveler. Made to fit the Micronaut vehicles, like the Photon Sled. You can stage make-believe battles against a Croyer. Like all Micronauts, a Croyer has interchangeable parts, so you can create your own toys. Micronauts, made of plastic and die-cast metal, each sold separately by Mego. These are circa 1976, 1977 Micronauts. This is the Hydrocopter. Which is this? This is a yellow time traveler in Acroir in blue and green. This is a clear time traveler in the package. I have two copies of the Andromeda. Baron Karza, Betatron, Galactic Cruiser with the missiles, and the Battle Cruiser. All right, so we're going to take a look in the partially emptied toy closet, and up in the top shelf we have. Gumball machines. Gumball machines, vending machines. So let's go. We like to eat really old candy. Yeah. That one says Juicy Oranges Bubblegum Leaf. Northwestern Morris, Illinois. I think. That is cool. Standard, try them hot, fresh, and delicious. Yep, so try that some. makes oh, hot boy. peanuts. <gasps> really? Yeah. How you plug it in? Yep. Are these from the 50s? These are summer from the 50s, summer earlier. We have, thank you, one cent. The Master something patent, yep. 23. That's from 1923. And then, yeah. yeah, it does look like it, doesn't it? Yeah. I wonder how long they cost one cent, probably for a while. Five cents. Ford quality franchised products yeah, it has multiple patent dates maybe oh and that looks like the sewing machine labels mm -hmm. and that last one is from the 60s acorn all-purpose vendor don't you have more like stand-up ones i have a couple more like there's one behind you yeah which we can look at Candy -coated peanuts. i think i've run into that thing in the world time <laughs> so that's what it's for. All right, thanks there, for showing wait, us. Are there more in the kitchen? Mm, there's one more in the kitchen. Do you want to go look? Let's go look. All the way through? All right. It's messy. Very messy. You can just splice it all together. Yep. Look. Penny, nickel, one full turn. That's the key. Do they all have keys? Mostly. Candy. We have candy. Alright. There you go. Thank you. Alright. Jaws. 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 Jaws is the game where you try to fish out what's in the jaws of the great white shark. I'm going for the camera. Made it. But be careful, because if you remove the wrong piece, the jaws will get you. And you're out. Jaws. It's you against the great white shark and each other from ideal. This is the game of Jaws. 
It's you against the great white shark. And there's the shark. This is toss across game, beanbag tic-tac-toe game. I believe this is from 1971. This is the you drive it set in which you can maneuver a car around the road magnetically from beneath. Check out his shoe. That's gotta be from 1976. This is a Verdi Bird helicopter set. Nip Nop from 1971. These are spin art sets in which your canvas spins around and you I paint while it's spinning. We used to do these on the Santa Cruz boardwalk. He's a demolition demon in a beat up Chevrolet. It ain't worth a dollar, so he wrecks it every day. Now here is Kenner's SSB smash up derby set. And you can hoot and holler, cause you ain't seen nothing yet. Crash, bang, crack them up, put them back again. Crash, bang, smash them up, it's smash up time, my friend. Kenner's SSP smash up derby set comes with everything you see right here. This is the SSP smash up derby in which you pull the whip cord and these cars can fly over the ramps, hit each other, and pieces fly off. This is a Play-Doh set from 1974. Still on the package. You are looking into the magic window. It's an exciting new toy that you turn upside down to watch the tiny microdium crystals flow into beautiful, ever-changing pictures that stirs your imagination. It never makes the same design twice. Joe enjoys his magic window while he's hanging upside down, but I'm sure it's just as exciting when he's upside up. Magic window comes with its own stand and wood-like frame. From Whammo. These are some Whammo toys. This is a 1971 Frisbee horseshoe set in which you would throw the Frisbee through the hoop on top of the pole. This is a Whammo Frisbee still in the package. This is a Whammo Fun Fountain from 1978, which you would hook up to your hose and it would create a stream of water which would propel the hat in the air and a fountain of water would come out the top of the hat. Yep. This is the Whammo Track Ball set from 1975, in which you would throw the yellow plastic balls using the racket to your partner who would catch it in their racket. This is the Moama Magical Window from 1973, which contains contrasting blue and white sand, which would never actually mix. Ideal. 
This is the 1973 Evil Knievel stunt cycle. And the escape from Skull Canyon set. Which he would jump over. Mighty men and monster maker kids. With this kid, your children can combine different chests, legs, and hands. <laughs> they can color in scales, hair, or alligator skin. Very nice. They can make hundreds of monsters and heroes. Personally, I prefer the monsters. <laughs> Mighty men and monster maker and some marbles. It's the inbox. So this is from 1979, Mighty Men and Monster Maker, and it had these um, plastic pieces that you could arrange in three different combinations to make different monsters, and then use colored pencils to shade over those and draw your monster. Sure did, yeah. Rolling. Here are all the toys safely stored away in the closet for future play. All right, thanks everyone for joining us on this toy closet adventure. We'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>